Hello, my name is Micah from Short Book Reviews. And a few comments before we start this video. I just have a new system around me, so my new microphone and all of that. So if something goes wrong, please tell me in the comment section below and I will try to fix it to the best of my abilities. And also a reminder that I will not get all the facts in the book right because I am just doing reading so many books that I can't keep track of all of it. So if I do get something as well, comment in the section below and I will respond to you and give you my sorry because I'm really trying to make these videos the best possible, but I know it's not always possible. So let's get right into the video. Today we will be reviewing the book James and the Giant Peach by Roald Dahl. Now, in this book, James is living with his two aunts. Um, they are very selfish aunts. They are making him do all the work, and he's barely getting any rest time. So, one day, a man comes by while he's working and gives him a paper bag of, like, magic dust and so he's so excited to use it the next day, and he runs through the entire house, and he runs, and right under the peach tree, he trips. All of this magic dust goes everywhere. And now this peach is starting to grow on the tree, when there's never been a peach on the tree before. And so, his aunts come out, inspect it. You know what? They don't even know that James did any of this. And so, um, then they start selling tickets to see the world's largest peach, because this peach is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. Like, it, I bet it is the, quote-unquote, world's largest peach. Anyway, so one day, James was so hungry, he just went by the peach and he was like, I wish I could take a bite, I wish I could take a bite. And then, inside the peach, he saw, well, on the outside of the peach, he saw a hole that led inside the peach. So he climbed through, like, went through the hole, and saw a door. And so he opened the door and saw a bunch of insects there. Um, and so the insects greeted him. They were, yeah. And so one day... James was in there. They were planning for to go away, to roll away, and he and they start to roll away. They cut away from the branch. It was getting too heavy, and they were just rolling and rolling past everywhere. And like a few days later, the peach eventually stops in an ocean, and in the ocean was nothing. So everybody just went up to the top. They were having a great time. And then they saw seagulls and they were like, hey, we can like attach them to string and have them pull us up. And so they did that. And the seagulls actually brought them up above the clouds and they saw cloud men and they were not being the nicest to them anyway. And eventually they actually landed on the spike of the Empire State Building. And then after, it was like, there was a huge parade. It was all amazing. It was just crazy. And so that is the review on this one. On Giants and the Giant Peach. Um, I would give it a 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I would recommend that people's 8, even 7 and up, would read it. It is a very good Roald Dahl book, and I think that they should read it, if possible. Uh, thank you. Consider subscribing, putting on that bell, and give a like to this video. Comment down below what you think, how, what you think about this video, and also if you have any suggestions for reviews that some people might find helpful. Please comment it in the section below. Thank you. Signing off now, Mike Zwiers from Short Book Reviews.